Okay, so this is a tutorial for attaching a metahuman head to a different body and animating both. There might be a better way to do it, but I've been unable to find anything. Uh, it's useful as you can then have the head and body animated independently. And it also gives you access to a lot more clothes and body types than the ones currently on metahuman. Okay, so first of all, you want to open the skeletal mesh and go down to LODs and then right click and disable all of the face and neck components. So eyes, eyelashes, face, chest, tongue, teeth, etc. Next up, you need to open the metahumans folder containing the character you want to use and then right click, create blueprint, just name it anything. Open that up and then you want to go to the face folder and drag the face mesh into the blueprint. Then you need to open the main character blueprint. And select the hair and eyelashes and anything else you want to keep. And copy that. Then go back to the new blueprint, paste it, and just drag it onto the face mesh to parent. And that's that done, just compile and save. Now drag the new blueprint into the scene. And I've got the um, Reillusion character set to zero location, so just to make it easy. Um, so you can just click on the face mesh and reset it to zero. Now you'll notice it's in the wrong position, but that's fine. Just drag it onto the character to attach it. Attach it to the neck. And then add a level sequence. Just name it anything. And then drag the character into the level sequence and the face mesh will go with it. And also uh, delete the face control rig. And now if you go to animation and pick a, a pre-made animation with live, that you've done with Live Link, and you'll see that it's moving as it should. Obviously it's in the wrong position, so you need to um, do some adjusting. It will snap back to that wrong position, but don't worry about it, because it will go back to normal once you start the animation. So that's that part done. Next up is animating the body. Just adjust that a bit more. Now animating the body, I have some, I have one, uh, I have one animation pre-made, just load that in. So now we have both animations working at the same time. I'll just stretch this out to get the full dance. But you'll notice there's a problem at the back where it kind of sticks through. So the, the best solution I've found for this is to click on the face mesh and reduce the size to about 0.975. 
and you will also have to adjust it slightly just raise it up a bit and now it fits perfectly and that's it just leave him to dance away in the field